<laughs> What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine and Eat OC Now. I'm here with Simon. We're at the old ship. And today we're talking about beer and bangers and ducks. So if that's something you're into, stick around. All right, so this is the front of our pub. You can always recognize it because there's a traditional London phone box out front. A lot of people come here and take it's pictures. A what? A London phone box out front. And a lot of traffic. So a lot of people, it's very recognizable. Nice fresh flowers, which I water every day. Makes a nice, comfortable, inviting place. Go inside. All right, welcome aboard the old ship. Is this a pretty standard pub atmosphere in England? Pubs are changing in England. They're getting more uh, like Starbucks. They're oh. getting lighter. They're taking off the paint. They're getting rid of the old-fashioned stuff. But this would tr this would be a true traditional countryside British pub. There are cars in the parking lot that literally have Heathrow tags on their bags, and they're here having a pint after they've just got off the flight from England. Hit the ground and hit the right ground right in there in the pub. Okay. They're having a pint before they go to Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> it's, I don't, yeah, it's good. We're, we're, we're known around the world, actually, surprisingly enough, after 25 years. When the World Cup ended, I got a phone call and uh, they said, Simon, can you do an interview? And I said, well, where is it? It's BBC Radio 5 Live in London. And they called the pub to see really? what it was like for a British pub in America or what we felt about the World Cup. Uh -huh. So it's, it's quite unique. So, so yeah. you're known over there. We're known everywhere in a sense, yeah, because yeah. after 25 years, it, it's amazing how it's spread. Um, I, do, I drive down the freeway and I get cars honking at me when I'm doing my uh, between the two pubs deliveries and things like that. Right, so yeah. People just honking their horns and waving and smiling. It's really good. So. Okay. And you're here like all the time. You can almost always find me at one of my two locations. Okay. Yeah. So. And what are you doing? Drinking? Yeah, it's called quality control, you know, so. Good, yeah. Well, as you, as you notice, Rex, in the pub here, it's all about conversation and family. We don't stare at a TV and just zone out. One of our customers had a saying, Rex, he said, um, why do you come to a social place and do an unsocial thing? Right. And that yeah. is burying your face in the telephone. So um, that's what makes the pub unique. We're a family place. You can yeah. have babies in here. We're not 21 and over. Right. Yeah. Um, I, just I know say, I see the, uh, you've got. Yeah, we've got high chairs high and chairs all that and stuff for the kids. Okay. I mean, we have people now that uh, were born, been brought in here as newborns, had a photo taken with their dad and granddad, and then they came back recently for his 21st birthday. And so we have another picture from baby to 21 with dad, granddad, and him. The so whole it's, family. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Okay, and uh, so let's talk about the food. What I hear about uh, the food that people love are fish and chips, you know, okay. uh, um, yeah. and it basically with all our food, it goes into what we put behind the product instead of the cod that we get is either Icelandic sustainable marine certified mm -hmm. or it's from Alaska from a sustainable fishery. Okay. Um, everything's traceable mm -hmm. back to a boat. And then when a customer orders our fish and chips, we take it out, we trim it, we batter it and fry it to order. Everything we make here is made to order. We don't microwave stuff to rush stuff. So if you ordered a pie that we hand make, it's okay. going to take 20, 20 minutes or so to bake the pie. So more time to have a beer. Yes, yeah, time to have a pint. Yeah, or definitely. a cocktail, whatever. Yeah. What are some of the top items that people love at the old ship? Well, first of all, when you come in the door, you got to have clam chowder. got to have clam it's chowder. It's made from scratch. Everything's sliced, diced. It's not from a package, a mix, or a premix. Okay. It is one of our most popular items. What's an underrated item? Like you wish everybody knew about this item. Well, I'd probably have to say our bangers and mash, Rex, because okay. people think, well, you know, it's just a sausage, it's some mashed potatoes, and, and nothing special. Right. But the mash is boiled up and smashed by hand. That's why you get lumps in it. The sausages, which we call bangers, because they, some of them explode when you cook them. Is that what, okay. And that's why it's called a banger. Because they the, explode. Yes, they, they tended to, back in the day, they tended to explode when oh. you cook them. <laughs> well, there you so little, they would pop. So they called English bangers. History lesson. Well, the bangers that we get come from R.J. Bolson, which is, in the Guinness Book of Records, the oldest family-owned butcher in the United Kingdom. Okay. So from 1512, I believe it is. So that They're family... still around? That family is still around. It's a continual family business and that's where we source our bangers from. So you oh. know you're going to get something authentic. So this poster represents, this is the R.J. Bolson and Sons Butcher, England's oldest family continuously owned butcher since 1535. And this is the butcher shop that we get our bangers from. And this sign can be found where? Uh, in, uh, in the uh, lavatories, as we say, or the WC. 
Uh, what's, a, what's a super popular item that everyone, everyone should just try because it's just amazing? Well, I guarantee you what you should try at the end of your meal would be our sticky toffee pudding. Oh. Now that's a secret family recipe. Really? Can't tell you what's exactly in it, but everybody raves for it. There's we toffee in it? We literally cannot make enough of it every day. Really? Yes. What is it? What's the basic? It's a it? steamed pudding, like a sponge cake. Okay. Thick and heavy, much yeah. like a Christmassy type treacle thing. Um, and it's very, very popular. It sells out, I swear, it sells out every day. Okay. Uh, what about your entree? Prime rib. Our prime rib by far is the best around. It's uh, Harris Rance source product. It's uh, top of the uh, chain in grades of meat. We season it and slow cook it and uh, it comes out to order and people just love it. Yeah. Our prime rib is very special as, as is the horseradish that goes with it. Just blow your head off. We have to warn people about oh, it. Oh, it's so super hot. It's super, super hot. So oh, okay. <laughs> people love that. Super hot horseradish yeah. at the old ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about like the, here's one I like here, is the, the shepherd's pie? Yes. Delicious. Shepherd's pie on our menu is what we call a cottage pie, and I'll tell you a little bit of history between a shepherd's pie and a cottage pie. All right. A shepherd's pie traditionally was made with ground lamb, hence the shepherd. Oh. And cottage pie was ground beef. Okay. Lamb is much more popular in England only because of a resource standpoint back in the day. It, it takes a lot less land to grow up a lot more sheep than it does to grow up a big cow. Oh, okay. And that's why as traditional as English, we British, we eat a lot of lamb. So what we'll, we'll do is Sunday roast every Sunday, and we'll have either rack of lamb or lamb shank or okay. lamb shoulder, depending on what the chef's mood is. And we'll usually have a traditional Sunday roast. Great. One last item I want to talk about is the scotch egg, Scottish egg. Oh yeah, so scotch egg. Scotch egg. Oh, I like the scotch egg. Scotch egg is a uh, hard-boiled egg right. surrounded by a uh, pork sausage meat that's seasoned uh, yeah. with actually a seasoning of my own, and it's made to order. So. It's a meatball with an egg in it. Yes, it's a very really? big meatball. Okay, yeah. And, and the, so the recipes, where did they originally come from? The recipes came from my father um, and yeah. uh, another English gentleman, a friend of his that, yeah. that has a restaurant. Okay. And uh, also some of the recipes are mine, like the steak and owl pie is mine. Okay. It's made with some Guinness sauce and things like that. It's very rich. Okay. Um, and it's a lot of family recipes, so yes. Okay. Family recipes. Ancient family recipes <laughs> from the Collier family. Yes. Collier? Collier. Collier. Collier is French. Collier is English. Oh, okay. Pronunciation. Well, the Colli <laughs> the Colliers. And the other thing about us too is, uh, you know, we do still have an official uh, imperial pint, which is 20 ounces of beer in a pint. So what's, um, the, what's the actual regular pint in America? The regular pint in America that's being served today is anywhere between 12 to 14 ounces in a glass. Oh. There's no standards here in America on that. Now, if the definition of American pint is 16 ounces, but most places, because of the cost of things, have moved to make that glass smaller and smaller and smaller. So. Okay, so where you have a pint glass here, right? Yes. Okay, here. Go, go, go grab a pint. Make, actually what make one. This is a Fuller's ESB, which is a traditional London bitter okay. in a English or imperial pint. It has a seal on the front there. Okay. Much like when you go buy gasoline, it's measured and monitored. That's what we do in England. So that is a true imperial pint. That is 20 ounces of beer. Okay. So over there, what? Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. So here you would have a traditional American pint, pint okay. mug, right? right? Mug okay. of beer. What we have here, see this for comparison, this is a half a pint measured okay. by law. So I pour this into here. That's okay. what you get in other places and you pay the same price. There you go. Get more beer at Old Ship. There's <laughs> the right. There's the message. Well, there. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I'll, I'll cheers to anything. <laughs> but I'll cheers any day with you, Simon. Thank you much, Rex. So as you can see, Rex, throughout the pub, there are ducks. So uh, up there on top, and then over here on the bar, we'll just show you here. Up behind the bar, there's ducks. There's lots of ducks. Everywhere you see ducks. So the funny thing about ducks, it really goes back to uh, my father, who, when we were going to open the pub, we had a list of 10 names for what we were going to call the pub. Dad comes in one night and he says, I've got the name for the pub. We're like, OK, what is it? He says, we're going to call it the old ship. And we're like, well, that's not even on our list. Where did you come up with that? He says, because it's on harbor. OK, and now he also used to say, Running the pub business is like a duck on water. When you look at a duck at the pond, it's swimming along nice, right? right? Underneath it's paddling like crazy. And so people bring us ducks all the time. My dad's old comment about, it's not as easy as it looks. This is like a duck on water, paddling like crazy underneath. The bathrooms are kind of weird. Have you seen the ladies room? No, I've never seen the ladies room. It's kind of a royal room. 
if I if I had a better room, we would do a better royal room than this. But uh, this is a royal family. It goes way back in time. This is in the women's restroom. Yeah, this is in the ladies. <laughs> And it's uh, quite funny because a lot of times the other ladies have to knock on the door and say, uh, you know, um, are you done yet? <laughs> and so I'm sorry, I was busy looking at all the pictures. Oh, you get some new ones so, up there. Right. Yeah, we do put some new ones. We need to have to get some new ones up of Megan as well for that, from that royal wedding. So Absolutely. that is a project of mine. So. Okay. There you go. The old ship on Harbor. Come on down and check it out. You've got bangers and mash, ducks, and great beer. The old ship. We'll see you there. Clam chowder, Simon. Tell me about your clam chowder. It's more exciting if we just make it up as we go along, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, it just sounds too canned, right? Well, we just sit here and just drink beers and do we it can that do way. That. Yeah, let's just, <laughs> you know what? Let's just sit here and drink beers. Forget about that. All right. <laughs>